Today in our 2017 Nissan Rogue, we'll be having a look at and installing the Concha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118480. And here's what our wiring looks like installed. When it's not in use, we can easily store it in this compartment out of the way so it's completely hidden. And when we're ready to tow our trailer, we can open the compartment on up grab our wiring, drape it down to the side of our latch here for our hatch, close the hatch on up, as you see we have a good length of wire, it hangs down right next to our hitch that we can hook our trailer wiring up to. We have this built on dust cover here to help protect it from any dirt or debris getting inside the connectors, causing a poor connection. Now this wiring harness gives you the basic lighting functions that are required by law in order to safely tow a trailer. Green wire here is your right turn signal and right brake light. Yellow wire is your left turn signal and left brake light. Brown wire is your tail light and running light circuit. And the white wire is your ground wire. Now that we've gone over some features of this wiring harness, we'll show you how to get it installed. To begin our install, start by opening our rear hatch. And now we'll take out all of our floor coverings. Set them aside. Okay, now we need to take out our sill plate here that covers the center section of our hatch. To do that, we have two clips, one on each side, pop out the center section. You can grab it, remove it, and we'll do the same on the other side of the panel. Now we have this piece right here underneath the latch for our hatch. We'll pry this on up and remove it. Now we'll grab the center section, just pull up on it, and it'll pop loose. Okay, now we need to remove our cargo hook. Do that. We'll flip open the latch, pry out on the center section here, and we'll find a 10 millimeter bolt behind it. We'll do the same for the other cargo hook on the other side. Okay, now we'll grab our black section of our side panel and pull it out towards us. Okay, behind that small round cover, we found a 10 millimeter bolt. We need to remove that. That'll make our panel pull out easier. Okay, now looking through our panel here on the driver's side, we can locate our connector for our taillight assembly. There's a tab right here. If we push in on this tab and pull down, we can separate our connector. Now we'll take our wiring harness the yellow and brown wire is the connector for our driver's side. So we'll route this behind our panel. We'll plug the male end into the female end. And we'll plug the harness back into the tail light. This 10 millimeter bolt right here controls some of our factory ground points. We're gonna remove this because we're gonna need to attach our ground wire right there. Our ground wire is the white wire with the ring terminal that comes off our module. We'll stick the bolt that we removed through there and then reinstall it in the original position. We unclipped our passenger side taillight connector from the vehicle so you can get a better view of it. We'll separate the tabs the same way. Make sure our wire is routed up behind our panel. This is the green and red wire. And we'll plug our connections on in place. Now on our driver's side, we have a round grommet right here. We'll just pull up on this grommet. Once we have it out, we'll pull it on out of the vehicle. We'll drill a small hole in the middle of it. Okay, we'll take our power wire, stick it through the back side of the grommet, and we'll pull out 
about a foot. The other end of our power wire will just stick through the hole, feed the wire on through until we reach our grommet at the hole. Then we'll just push the grommet back into place. Now I'll strip off a little bit more of the insulation on our red wire. This is our power wire for the module. And we'll strip off the insulation from the black wire. Now we'll take our yellow buck connector, stick it over our wire, and crimp it down. The other end of the buck connector We'll get the other wire. Now we'll wrap our butt connector up in some electrical tape. This will help keep any moisture, dirt, or debris from entering the butt connector, possibly causing a short. Every other butt connector from this point forward we'll do the same with. Now we'll take our double-sided tape, peel off one side, press it firmly on the back of our module, peel off the other side and we'll attach it to our vehicle's body right in this area here this is out of the way of everything and we still have room to get our jack in and out if we ever need it now we'll go ahead and put all our panels back in place Now our green and red wire that goes from our module to our passenger side tail light connector, we secured it up with a couple zip ties to these holes here that are hidden behind our panel. This way when we reinstall our panel, the wires will be hidden. We don't have to look at them. We've gone ahead and routed our four pole flat wire out the side over here so we can store it in our storage compartment when we're not towing our trailer. All right, here's the grommet where our power wire leaves. We went ahead and routed this to the front of the vehicle, making sure we avoided any moving parts and sources of heat. I'll show you how I did that. Went up and above our rear subframe here. Make sure we avoided the shock. Have it zip tied up to a wiring harness here before it finishes crossing up over the subframe. Comes down, ran it behind our exhaust heat shield for the fuel tank. Comes out of there, goes underneath this black plastic panel. Where it comes out here, then I wrapped it around our spacer here for the front subframe where the control arm mounts. Okay, from our engine bay, we dropped down a pull wire here. Okay, here's where our pull wire came down. We taped our power wire to it with some electrical tape. Now we'll pull it on up in the engine compartment. All right, we secured up our power wire with a zip tie to this engine wiring harness right here. This will keep it away from the exhaust and any other moving parts. Now we'll measure off about how much wire we're going to need. Cut off the excess. Strip back some insulation from it. Stick on a butt connector. Take our fuse holder. Has a loop of wire, so we'll cut it right in the middle so we have two separate ends. Strip out the insulation from both ends. One end we'll place on our ring terminal. And we'll crimp it down. The other end we'll place in our butt connector. And we'll crimp that down as well. Okay, now we'll take off our cover here on our positive battery terminal. We need to make a notch in it, this area right here, for our ring terminal to fit through. Okay, if that notched out, Stick it back on. Now we use a 12 millimeter socket to remove this nut right here.
Now we don't have a fuse in our fuse holder at this point, so it's safe to install this. Place that on over the stud. Reinstall the nut and snug it on down. Now we can take our provided 10 amp fuse and install it in the fuse holder. And we'll close the dust cover on up over it. And we'll close down our battery cover. Now we'll test our wiring. Okay, we're using a four pole flat trailer tester to test our wiring. We have these available on our website as part number I26 if you'd like to purchase one. We'll start by turning on our headlights. And as you can see, our tail light and running light function on our trailer will be working. Now we'll do a left turn signal. That's working as well. Followed by a right turn signal. That's working too. Now we'll step on the brakes. That's working as well too. We'll combine our brakes with our turn signals at the same time to make sure they operate properly. It's good there on that side. And good on that side. Now we've verified all of our functions are working properly. And that completes our look at and installation of the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118. 480 on our 2017 Nissan Rogue. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.